Look at these bars, look at the population. 87 and 67, 76 at a Space Marine, that's... That's a buttload of units, which is a buttload of resources in Space Marine. And, uh, which can be seen because, I mean, these power farms, these wreck points, just haven't been getting uncapped. Um, there was some, some use of the work, work Spiders for harassment, as they're intended to do, but uh, they lost a lot of numbers and end up costing more. Yes, the D-Cannon! I was <laughs> honestly god about to say something about that. Um, is that these Rugans, these Black Worms, have been some of the most effective things in uh, Spirit's arsenal, mostly because he's had uh, other units to tank in the center for him. But, uh, might see that Termigant Brood. Yep, he's dead. Goodbye, Termigant. Dren fan losing a lot, a lot, a lot of units. Um, Gene Stealers are still alive, Warrior Brood's still alive, but nothing's very much leveled. Another third Carnifex coming out, thrown back once again. But uh, as I was saying, these resources are just... And I mean, if you look at the commander levels too, well, not so much there, but they're all about equal. But, yeah, the resources... Um, Blue has just been getting just oodles and oodles. Is that the second time I said oodles today? I'm losing man points left and right. Um, anyway, yeah, they're just getting so many resources to the point where they can get... I mean, two Terminators, fully upgraded attacks, assaults, uh, full war gear for both their heroes, Devastated Lays can at last. I mean, one of the things about Marines is that you want to try to force them into a lower number of units, so you try to make them use units that, like, you know, tactical Marines, which are really good solid units, but don't have a specialization. Whereas now they have enough resources that can buy these specialized units, like Vendreds, uh, Lace Cannon Devastators, and still have that main core force. I mean, Space Marines are almost impossible to kill. Anyway, back to D Cannons, which I love. Um, they, uh, yeah, th those platforms, like I said, in the artillery used by Spirit have been doing massive amounts of damage. There's been a lot of blobbing, and, uh, down goes the Falcon, but, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, right, um, it's probably going to be GG here pretty soon. As red line to red. Actually, I don't know. Seeing as how this VP has not been even snipped at by the, uh, blue team, which is good. I mean, don't want to overextend yourself, especially with space for the low number of players. Um, low number of, uh, units, rather, but... Still, that uh, BP hasn't even been looked at. And uh, we have an Orbital, yay! Orbital going down on the D Cannon and the Shrugan. Ooh, what's gonna... Wow, watch this, my game just crash when this happens. Oh, uh, nope. Okay, kind of worked. That is very beautiful, but very slow. D Cannon did die, so that's major loss for DK. Spirit. Um, Carnifex also is really hurting. Barely got saved by... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but the Warp Spider is used a haywire grenade on the uh, bend red just as the carnifex got melted bombed. Uh, so that was a nice lucky little little catch there. Terminators. Yeah, nope, not enough red for interesting they went for an orbital. Although that kill on that D cannon was really important. VPs are ticking against the uh, the Russians though right now, so that very well could be No, but they're uh, oh and we have ninja capping by a Lictor. How evil. That is. Although we have been caught by the Terminator, so this lecture will not last very long. Did get the decap though, so that's important. Um, now we're even again. Ah, now we see some focus being put on. <laughs> we're going for a ninja cap against ninja guardians. Uh, but, oh god, they can't, they... Yeah, there we go, found them. Do have the tactical marine support. However, these these scouts will melt the gene stealers. They're going to have to run and hide. Ooh, might be able to... Good god, how are these gene stealers still... Same thing, plasma fire and... and Oh, now they have marked target. Now they're gonna die. Yep, now they're running. How did they take that much damage without, you know, taking any damage? You know what I mean? They had like two plasma guns plus a shotgun blast. Uh, yikes. So now this last VP is going to go to the blue team. Top one's locked down by Terminators. Center is also being controlled by Terminators. Um, however, there is maybe a sliver of hope. Warp Spiders, Carnifex, gotta move back out. Strange fan doesn't have his hero, neither does Spirits. And uh, I think it's going to be GG. We've got Devil Terminators here in the center that are going to be able to, uh, to hold this down. Meanwhile, over on the left, that'll be all three VPs. Yep, now we're power bashing in late game, so that's, uh, that's GG. Wow, that was a really good game, though. Um, I just, man, the, one one of the things that the Russians did is, and by the way, if they're not Russian, I apologize. I've been <laughs> calling you guys Russians this whole time. If you're from the Ukraine, I or somewhere else, not even Russian, I completely apologize. But, one thing that uh, RUW did really well was, um, was prevent, present, present, rather, this 
Giant One teamwork was just impeccable. But uh, also, they just presented this massive just front in the middle that did not move. The game never moved farther back than the middle of the Space Marines, unless it was Warp Spiders or the Lifter Grass. Um, so yeah, that was, I mean, that's one thing about Space Marines. They're really hard to kill. And, uh, and yeah, they played with teamwork great. Not to say that the DK team didn't play well at all, but, uh, but they certainly, um, I mean, they, they're no pushovers at all, but we'll say that Spirit was, uh, wasn't using his, up. Uh, we see a nice Eldritch Storm go down, which may or may not get to kill on the scouts. No, nope, it doesn't. Kills one. Oh, and scraps. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, and you feel like, I'm sure if we look at the unit losses, then, then yeah. And such a, such a big push forward offensive marine strategy. I mean, the tech marine and the, the force commander just complement each other perfectly in terms of range and, and melee force. And, uh, and then of course the resources were, uh, were pretty much unlimited for the space marines. And as you can see by how much they were able to buy. Two, two terminators, an orbital went down. Um, you can see pallet had just massive amounts of wreck and power, didn't even know what to do with them. So, uh, so yeah. That was more of a game of battles and, um, and unit uh, movements and conservation rather than, than anything else. Although I do think if, I mean, if the space, once space marines reach critical mass, eh, those things are almost impossible to bring down, so. Which I think they did, so I guess you have to really, especially with Eldar and Tyranids, you've got to use your tier 2 to your advantage and uh, really bring them down, because in tier 3, I mean, you see what happens. Um, yeah, both both Spirit and Serenz fan had very similar scores. Uh, Pallid really shown, I think, in terms of unit. Holy crap, how many? Yeah, he had brilliant unit conservation. Only lost 24 and killed 126. So that's... Yeah, units uh, definitely is where this game was was decided. Although Spirit also had a really good unit unit score. Um, one, one, uh, one, one, two. Resources, um... You know, maybe I was premature. There just wasn't any harassment for either side, really. So both forces had pretty similar, um, pretty similar resource scores. If you look at power, um, it was actually more for the the uh, Spirit and Trans fan team, so the red team. But uh, but yeah, otherwise, yeah, actually that was a com almost completely equal. So completely disregard all of that that I was saying. Points don't really matter. Um, but yeah, commander. Commander, again, was, was pretty equal, with Pally being the only one who really stood out. Level 10 Tech Marine, 5 career kills, or commander kills, rather. So, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun to do. So, now we're back to the main screen, actually. Hold on for just a second, I will do another one, and uh, post it together, because it's part of the ESL tournament, in case you didn't know that. So, I'll cast that one coming up shortly.